and welcome to Arts 21 2014. This week, we ask why post-war architecture gets such a bad rap. Marvel at stunning color photographs of a world long gone. And take a peek at some of the big cultural events coming up this year. But first, to actor Daniel Brühl, whose performance as racing driver Niki Lauda in Rush has got everyone talking and could scoop him a major award. Whining engines and squealing tires. The high-speed world of motorsports was terra incognita for 35-year-old Daniel Brühl. He plays Formula One racing legend Niki Lauda in the action drama Rush. With his restrained acting, he successfully conveys the cold precision that Lauda was known for. And today with the rain, the risk is small. I'm the only person in history to do the ring in under seven minutes. So actually, it's to my advantage to race it today. Because I'm quicker than all of you. Germany's Nürburgring racetrack, 1976. Nicky Lauda, the relentless perfectionist, and James Hunt, the British playboy, were locked in a rivalry for the Formula One championship title. Audiences are unused to seeing Daniel Brühl in an action film, but it isn't the first risk he's taken with his choice of roles. In retrospect, I'm glad I made the decision I did. There was a short time where I might have taken the easier path. I could have gone for films made in my own country that looked a lot more promising, but I decided against that because I just wasn't interested in it. The son of a German TV director and a Spanish teacher, Daniel decided early on that he wanted to become an actor. He enjoyed roles with an edge, characters with inner conflicts. He chose not to attend acting school, preferring to rely on his instincts. His first real success came with the white sound when he was 23. With disturbing authenticity, Brühl created the creeping onset of schizophrenia. His big break was Goodbye Lenin, a comedy about the fall of the wall. Brühl is the loving son who tries to shield his ailing mother from East Germany's collapse. It was a smash international hit, with the film showing in 50 countries. The role was both a blessing and a curse to Daniel Brühl. The awards and honors came pouring in, led by the German and European Film Awards. He became the darling of the Berlin Film Festival. And for German audiences, the epitome of the likable, caring son. Even so, Daniel Brühl did not jump back on the comedy bandwagon that was rolling through Germany. Instead, he looked farther afield. It's okay to travel and work in another country if you can't find anything satisfactory in your own country or you don't get any interesting offers. Daniel Brühl grew up speaking both German and Spanish. That created more opportunities. In his first Spanish film, he played the anarchist Salvador, living under the Franco regime in the mid-1970s. His father was condemned to death. But Salvador, the rebel, was executed. Daniel Brühl's character was both hard-boiled and vulnerable, and a big hit with Spanish audiences. The Spaniards don't have as many problems as Germans showing emotions openly. That's definitely true. In German cinema, you're almost afraid to show anything at all because it might not be subtle enough, and you always want to tone everything down, though that can also have its attraction. But probably since I'm half Spanish, I like to be passionate now and then and show my emotions as they really are. In other countries, Brühl explored new approaches, playing in French, as if he were just as much at home in that language. In And If We All Live Together, he played opposite such veteran stars as Jane Fonda and Geraldine Chaplin. He's also acted alongside Brad Pitt. In Inglorious Bastards, Daniel Brühl played a highly decorated Nazi sniper. One moment, mama's boy, the other, a vicious killer. 
ça fait plaisir de voir que vous pouvez ressentir quelque chose. Même si c'est juste la douleur physique. Tout ce que j'ai fait pour vous. Vous me manquez de respect à vous risquer ces périls. Once again, Daniel Brühl had made the right choice and had the good luck to be picked by none other than Quentin Tarantino. It may have been a minor role, but it got him known in the American film industry. I had that corner. Both Rush the film and Brühl himself have been nominated for a Golden Globe. Some have even tipped him for an Oscar. I think all this business about the grand prize is way too premature and even dangerous because it can lead to a major disappointment if it doesn't make it. But for me personally, it wouldn't be one. Like his screen counterpart Niki Lauda, Brühl seems determined to keep focused. The race is on, but we'll have to wait until January 12th to find out if Daniel Brühl will take home a Golden Globe.